Here at Tormach, we want to help you use your tools to the fullest of their capabilities. So let's go through three ways to tap on a Tormach mill. Hey, my name is Jake. I am a tech support and CAD CAM specialist here at Tormach. Today we'll be going over the tapping options that Tormach has to offer. Our first tapping option is the tension compression uh, ER tapping heads. Uh, we have ER16 and ER20. Uh, some of the advantages for this uh, is that it's quick uh, to change the tool up. Uh, another advantage is that you gain uh, more Z travel as compared to the other tapping options. The second tapping option that Tormach has to offer is the modular tension compression tapping head. Uh, the benefit to this is that you gain repeatable tool offset heights by way of this, this head that pops out. Uh, so you can have all your taps loaded up in the other uh, modular heads and then simply pop it out, put the new one in. The slow motion accentuates the wobble. This is normal for this tool as it adjusts to follow the center line into the hole. The last tapping option that we offer is the Percunior. The Percunior has one major benefit and that is that it is auto reversing. The one requirement for that is that the retract feed rate is double what the regular feed rate is. So if you are looking for an option that is quick and easy, uh, if you use the same tap a lot, the tension compression tapping option is your best bet. If you are looking for repeatable tool lengths or you use a lot of different types of tap, the modular tension compression tapping head is your best bet. If you are looking for an auto reversing option, the Procunior is your best bet. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here. And for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel.